Hey guys, Tony the Soy Stars Assassin. Welcome to another double review for another dragon. And today we're doing the um, Year of the Dragon for Placencia. So, ta da! So, yeah, I got a box. Eric got a box. I think a lot of people got a box because it's Placencia. It's exciting. It's, everybody wants it. So, we got one of these boxes to show you guys. Um, uh, let's show the box first and then we we'll talk about why the box designs like this. I think there's an envelope in there that also talks about this. So here's the front of the box uh, with a, some sort of Asian flower looking thing to it. Single dragon that says Year of the Dragon Placencia with the simplified, simplified Chinese dragon word on it. That's a simplified version, which is like a very China, China version. I don't like simplified words because they're lazy. Okay. Edition Limitada price on the bottom. You can see that like a texture. See that? So the front, twin dragon, flower, power. Bottom, hollow, but it's got like a mashed um velvet to it. And it's got a little bit of like hand show them. Um, basically made in, made in Nicaraguan. 1865 says on the bottom, I think. I can't really read it, so. And hopefully the camera can read it better. I don't know. Inside. This thing you think is a flip up, right? But it's not. This thing is not attached to it. It's weird. So you get an envelope. You get this thing that's kind of like a foamy thing to keep it so that it's not damaged. Right? And um, there is no number on this, even though it's limited. Envelope. This video is going to be long. But since you have the pillow box used for centuries, these unique box were made to keep important family documents such as deeds and official certificates since typical Chinese house were not locked and secure from intruders. The owner would use the concave lid as a pillow and rest their head on it at night to pro protect household from valuable theft. Yes and no. Okay, whoever wrote this did not get the whole story. Okay, so I'm going to fill you on the story, history of these pillows. Okay, back in the days, Asian people have long hair. They have braids, long braids and long hair. Women are supposed to put their hair up, like updo their hair to like this huge thing. And having a pillow that supports the neck and allows their hair to lie flat out was the square pillow. All right. So the male like to use a square pillow that doesn't have this huge concave thing and they're softer and they just lie their hair down. For the woman, which they are already have a lot of hair that's already kind of tied up and do or whatever, they like to have one with the curve. The curve. All right. So with that curve, that allows them to rest their head on it and the hair stays safe. Because if you've got to sleep on that thing, it's not comfortable. Okay, and here's the thing. So they're usually made out of porcelain, jade, or other material that's kind of cold. And to make it colder, they make the center hollow to reduce the weight, to uh, make it look good, and to keep it cold when you're sleeping on it. So a lot of people would hide things in it if that was designed to do that. All right, so... Uh, there are some of them that just have a hole on the side, slice it in there, and some of them has a lid that you can open and close. Only the really rich one will buy the one that actually have a lid and a lock and all that stuff. In fact, if you're rich enough, there are places to hide your stuff under the bed, other places. So yeah, they do use to hide certain things under their pillows. Uh, charms, documents, and all that stuff that gets them to be able to um, store them. But it's not as secure as you think because somebody's sneaking your house. They're going to kill you. They don't care where you hide it. They know exactly what it is because the tradition. They know it's in the pillow. Okay? So that, that storing important documents 
is kind of dumb. It's, it's actually what it is, is that when the woman married to the guy's house, uh, the mother gives some stuff to the woman uh, to care with them in case they get, uh, they need some money to buy or bribe the, the servants and stuff like that. It's in that pillow. That's it. The guys wear soft, use soft pillows. The woman use hard pillows. Okay. It's not that they always use to store important document. That's what the chest is for. You lock it. You hide it somewhere under the bed. You know, uh, you have servants in the house. Um, usually the house is big. Somebody's sneaking. You got dogs and servants. So and if you don't have those, you don't have anything important to hide. Sorry. That's just the way it is. So now let's take a close look at the cigar. Placencia. Year of the Dragon is six and a quarter by 54. Torpedo Extra. And he says that it is made tobacco, made by tobacco, entirely grown by Placencia family in Nicaraguan. So I will say it's a Nicaraguan puro because it's all grown by Placencia family in Nicaraguan. That statement just says it's puro, right? And MSRP is $45 per cigar. And they made 3,000 of this box of 10 cigars. So yeah, presentation's there. The look is there. The, 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 the cigar looks really chocolatey, all right? The, the, the look of it is just solid milk chocolate color. That's what I would call it. That's what I would call it. So take one cigar out right here. Put this stuff back in, which we don't need it again anymore. You know, sometimes uh, if you got a... You got to write something that explains stuff. Do your research. Go consult an actual uh, someone that will know. But on top of that, you should also consult the books um, and get both sides of the stories. Just saying. Okay. I'm not gonna... I should smoke that one. So the one that I have a little damage, but I don't think it's going to bother it. Okay, here we go. Ashtray. First, let's take off this first band. And of course, if you get paper bands, you get glue, you get some tobacco with it. So, yeah, a little bit damaged, but that's okay. Zero number, you know, I really wonder. I mean, yeah, it makes it easier to, to kind of buy one stick if you have a zero number on this thing. Barcode. But yeah, I'm going to take that off. All right. First footband. It says, Edition Limitada, Hencho, and Nicu Nicu Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Nicu Nicaragua. Right there. There we go. All right. Very nice Ben, I would say that's a good idea. I would say that's a good idea. You know, sorry, Nicaraguan. I mean, not Nicaraguan, um, Placencia. That's a good idea. That's a good idea to not put something other that has no meaning to it, but just like this is made in Nicaraguan. That, that's good. <clears throat> that's good. Oh. Very spicy. Star Annie's weird burn ash smell. What? Maybe, maybe the smell of like. Mm, how would I describe this? Like burn plastic smell. All right, inside is wood. Wood smell. But outside has this woodsy, burnt plastic ash smell. Sharp and spicy too. It's weird. It's weird. Shouldn't be it. That's, I don't know. Maybe from a box. Like Star Annie's wood burning smell. Let's go. Deep cut. Great draw. Oh yeah, great draw. Ooh. What? 
tastes like cologne, floral, woodsy, and had this. Oh my god, what is that taste? It tastes like cologne. Just if you taste it, you'll know what I mean. It tastes like a woodsy cologne. All right. Hopefully, when you light it up, it doesn't taste like that because that doesn't. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Put, 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 put. All right. Peppery. What you kind of call that? Grassy, like lemongrass with a little bit of citrus. Wow, how would I describe this? Chestnut, lemongrass, mineral. Mm. I'm, I'm in trouble. How do you taste it? Some sort of sweet flower, floral taste. Yeah, that's all I got right now. So yeah, let me smoke one third slowly and really get into it. What's this? Forty-five dollar cigar. Ah, uh, it's gonna be rough. All right, so whew, finally, one third. You get the the taste adjustment after a little bit of smoking it. So you get um, woodsiness, licorice, starness, spice, coffee, earthiness, and some sort of floral sweet. Very little, and maybe a little bit of chestnut. Just just a little bit, tiny bit. But it's like, according to Peter the Cigar Collective. This is the the better of all the dragons so far that he's thrown. I I cannot agree with that. I I don't think this is delivering. Like I think this is it's good, but it's not that good. The strength is about medium plus. I think slowly creeping towards full. But first there is good, but it wasn't impressed good. I don't know. Maybe I have a lot of hope in pleasance, yeah. Maybe, maybe. So, let me smoke another third. I'll be right back. Okay, so second third. Flavor ramped up, but it became this like a really leathery licorice taste that lingers on your tongue. It's almost, it has a little bit mineral and that ends with a little bit of bitterness. Uh, it... I want to say it tastes good, but it's weird. It tastes like an underage cigar. It feels like it should have let it linger a little longer, like aged down a little bit so that flavor works together a little bit better or something like that because that flavor does not linger in a good way. But the woodsy note, leathery notes are nice. And then... And then you also get that floral sp spice in the retro hill. That part of it is pleasant. That part of it is good. I I wouldn't say that's a bad cigar. 
I just think this cigar also had a little bit of could have said a long longer kind of thing going on. And I feel like the strength should I say strength doesn't justify the flavor because it's ramping up. It's medium plus right now. Uh, but the flavor, the good flavor lingers so little. It goes away really fast. And then while you're left with that mineral licorice taste, it wasn't that pleasant. That's all I can say. It's not a bad cigar, but the lingering flavor is not to my palate. I don't like that lingering flavor. I like the when you're taking the draw, when you get those flavor in, when you retrohale, that part of the flavor is good. So you got two parts, right? So one flavor is good. One flavor is kind of eh. Some people might like it. That's what I got. Again, Placencia Band. Looks pretty good. I like it. Simple. Not too much. But yeah, it gets the point across. But I always have to take some tobacco with you. What's wrong with you, man? Don't steal my tobacco. <laughs> right? So that's uh, that's the main band. And I, we might as well look at the top band too because it's really simple. Again, top band. The typical Placencia logo band, which in a way, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, uh, it looks like a coin, right? So it's like, I like that. But what I don't like, stop stealing my tobacco. Jeez. All right. So with that being said, Going to last third, I really think, I really hope that last third is going to give back a little bit. Because at this point right now, I cannot get to 45. Eric is probably going to be disappointed. Like I, like I mentioned, it, it is a double review, right? So uh, I'm going to review it. Eric's going to review it. Um, Johnny OCD did also mention that he wanted to review at the same time. But I don't know if that's going to go through. But you definitely got to get at least a double review out of this. So... Uh, make sure to also watch Eric Smoke One if you have one's review on this one. We might have a different opinion. So, uh, I'm smoking this one. Laster, I'm hoping this to get better. At this point right now, I'm giving this cigar. $18. $18 to $19 range. That's what I have right now. So, unfortunately, that's where it is. So, I'll be right back. All right, last third. Last third just kind of gets sweeter, woodsier, leatherier. I think the strain stayed, it has a little bit of pepper too. I think the strain stays about medium plus. It never got really full, but, and the smoke output is good, draw is good. Taste, I want to say is good. But it didn't hit my expectation for a forty-five dollars cigar. It definitely did not. I, I don't. It's woodsy, but it didn't get me. I I think it really needs time to sit. It's harsh, and and from time to time it smells like a little bit of ammonia, but not a lot, not a lot. Uh, uh it's more like in the beginning when I smell the 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 wrapper itself i get those weird smell burn plasticky kind of thing and i think a little bit translated in the smell as at, at the taste as well so maybe this needs time to set probably another six months or so kind of get it air out a little bit i don't know i don't know and I, i'm pretty sure some people got a better batch some people got a batch that's not as good or whatever but even with that taking that away still not 45 dollars it didn't like kind of Blowing out of my mind, especially it wasn't as good to me as the Gurkha uh, Year of the Dragon. So, with that being said, Gurkha is 35. This thing, I'm gonna give it probably at 20. Even at 20, I feel like that's a little bit expensive when I buy it again, kind of thing. You know, I, yeah, I bought a box, but it's for the sake of reviewing, being able to show you guys everything and collecting it, but. Other than that, I, I I don't see why this should cost the amount of money that it, it, it cost, right? So, I don't know. It's a good cigar. It wasn't that good. 
That's what I'm going to say. Because the guy wasn't that good. $20 range is what I'm going to give it. Should people try it? Yeah, you should. Just for the sake of it. So you know what it tastes like. It does give you that Nicaraguan personality. But I don't think it shined. It needs something a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of... Less of something, a little bit of saltiness kind of thing going on. Um, the fermentiness in this taste tastes kind of weird. I don't know. It's just for me. Uh, it wasn't wasn't a perfect combination, but still a good cigar. All right. So $20 where we're going with this. And um, I hope people get a chance to try it, even if it's just one stick. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend people to get a five pack or something like that because it wasn't that good. Right. It wasn't that good to me, to me. Some people might have a different experience. For me, that's what I get. All right. So that will be it for this particular review. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and make sure to go check out Smoke One if you have one. Eric's uh, review on this one so you can see his opinion on this particular guy. Maybe he had a better um, experience, right? I'm pretty sure uh, other people will have a review for this one too. Make sure to look at those before you buy them because it is a pricey cigar. So the more you see, the better. Okay, so I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.